Sean, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today, this is pretty big. If you guys have seen the Fetty Wap video, a lot of people have a huge question about spamming people, and I want to go ahead and break that myth. So just to be clear, if you guys have seen the Fetty Wap video, I did see some of the comments, and I said I'll make a video that were in doubt, like Nikola Zunis said, so his solution was to spam everywhere? That track must be shit. It won a Grammy, but hmm. Hey, that's not up to me. I am foreign said, I hear everywhere that this is spam. It's like a major sin online. Everyone seems to hate it, but this is great advice. So I appreciate it. I am foreign seems to understand it, but I want to talk about the fact that everybody's saying it's spam. And let's find one more comment. James Ernest said, BS. That's not how he got famous by posting songs on social media, spamming people all day. You will get hated and blocked. No t in no time. Every hit song, I think he means for every hit song, there are people behind it pushing it out to the masses. If you don't know who are the elites in the biz, do a research how they made a pop song. So he has a very conspiracy theory type perspective on how making songs and blowing up works. I hate taking a little while getting into the meat of videos, but that context is very necessary to understand why and what I'm about to talk about. The difference between marketing and spamming. See, I didn't even realize people didn't understand these differences, but it's all good. I'm gonna give it a try, give it a shot. Let's think about it this way. When you got dudes posted up on the corner hollering at girls, What's up, girl? That could be considered spam. Even if you did discriminate and decide I want that particular girl, if it's irrelevant to the girl, you aren't a viable option for her, she could just say you're spamming her. Every single YouTube commercial that you've ever seen, every single TV commercial, you didn't necessarily welcome that brand into your life. They just popped up on the screen. That could be considered spam as far as you're concerned. Maybe they did their best to say, hey, this is a particular audience that I think will be interested in this product, so I'll be putting it in the middle of this show for commercials, but you aren't interested. So as far as you're concerned, it's kind of spam. Or is that marketing? What was marketing again? Increasing the awareness of a product, service, person, whatever. Marketing is something that you cannot avoid if you want to be successful in anything. People have to be aware of your music before they listen to your music. They have to be aware of you as an artist before they can buy into you as an artist. You have to be aware that McDonald's exists before you go to McDonald's and you have to be aware that they have fries before you buy fries at McDonald's. Or maybe that might come across as spam, but that's up to you. You choose the audience and you try to place yourself hoping to be as relevant as possible to that audience where and when you think they will be most likely to be receptive. But even when it comes to marketing, people don't necessarily listen or receive or act on marketing the very first time. How many times have you heard about something in particular and you said, hmm, that seems cool, I might wanna do that, but you never actually went to that movie or decided for real to go to that movie until a friend asked. You were already aware of it, but then that friend put you into action. Or maybe you saw an album or you saw a song, but you never listened to it till a friend gave you, said, hey man, this is dope. So then you listen to it. Marketing doesn't necessarily come to fruition the first time you see it, which is why as study I was doing and why we're talking about this in the first place, he was posting and posting and putting this stuff in front of people's face so much. Eventually, they gave it a listen because they probably didn't listen the first, second, third, fourth, or even fifth time that they saw it. Studies show oftentimes in marketing, a lot of times they say it takes about 11 times for people to see something before they actually act on it in terms of buying into a brand or just checking out a brand or checking out a song, checking out a product, if it's relevant to them. And you making yourself aware to as many people as possible, as quickly as possible, is really just hopefully finding the right people because it's not a perfect science. You don't necessarily know if everybody in a certain category will like your stuff. You wanna save yourself energy, find people that you think might like your stuff and flood their attention with what you're doing, but all of them might not like it. So to some people, you might be spam, but to others, you might be a godsend and they're happy to see your shit. You can't be worried about the people who see you your, your as spam. Because think about how short people's attention spans are today. How many times have you been on Instagram and you did a long scroll, you know, we got that scroll session, it might, I might be about to go to sleep or something like that. Scroll, you see that funny post, <laughs> you see that other post and you're like, eh. And then you see that cute chick 
click and you like, damn, or, but by the time you get to the end of that scroll, there's some posts that you even like. You push that little heart button and you can't even remember what it was about or you can't even remember whose page that it was on. That's how people's attentions work, especially with the internet and the massive amount of content that we have coming at us at one time. Five minutes later, you like, dang, I want to tell my friend about that meme. And you can't remember how you got to it. You can't remember what page it was on. You can't even remember exactly the words that were on the meme. That's how people's attention spans work. So if you're not constantly getting in front of people, a lot of times they aren't going to remember you. You have to make yourself known and then known and then known until eventually there's a strong connection made and they know who you are. And then they might even block you. But at least they know who you are because it's rule number one of marketing is what get awareness you have to get awareness before you can sell somebody on anything I started a music festival we just did it last Saturday had over a thousand people there I'll I'll do a deeper breakdown on that later but a huge part of it was being in front of people's face as much as possible leveraging social media there's a great way to do it so you don't necessarily feel like spam but even if you get blocked Think back to the Fetty Wap video where DJ Envy said, man, I blocked you eventually. But later on, like eight months later, people were like, yo, Envy, man, we probably have to put this song on the radio in about two months. And DJ Envy was like, no, put this on now. We have to ride this wave. This song is hot now. We want to be at the front of the wave. So not only did he block him, but once he blocked him, he knew who he was, right? Because he actually went out his way to block him. That's a stronger action than just continuing to stroll by. And don't you prefer people to actually know who you are? You don't really have to worry about getting blocked of people liking you or not. You just have to make sure your shit is quality. Anyway, I don't usually do these rant type videos often. We're gonna codify this information in a series, in a marketing and psychology series so y'all can really understand the detail and how people actually think about what you're saying and what you're doing because artists have been conditioned to do actually the opposite oftentimes of what makes them successful and they're getting bad advice from people who don't actually do shit, they just have opinions. But until then, just understand this. Spam is a relative term. You can't worry about spamming people. I did that video on why your shit isn't selling. If you aren't fanatical as fuck about pushing your stuff on people, who else will be excited about it? Now, some of these other artists, you might get confused by when you don't see some artists who post their stuff a lot. They only post every once in a while, but they have a huge machine behind them. So when they actually do get big and they blow up, they aren't posting, but they have a record label or some kind of group or team that is blasting all their stuff for them. So that blast or that spam or that marketing, whatever you want to call it, is happening. It's just not happening from them. So they look like they're not trying, but trust me, don't get confused by this smoke screen because so much of the entertainment industry, that's why it's called entertainment because they're entertaining people and a huge part of entertainment like magic is to hide the actual way something is happening. People try to hide the real to make themselves look like they're not trying and look like it's low effort, but it ain't, bruh. That's it. Hit that subscribe button.